Hey everyone, April is Donate Life Month here in the United States. Donate Life Month was started back in 2003 by Donate Life America. Um, they organized with and collaborated with other organizations to make this an event that happens every year in the month of April for the whole month. Its goals are trifold. It's to bring awareness about organ and tissue donation. It's to encourage people to become signed up to be organ and tissue donors. And it's also to honor the people that have already been donors and given the gift of life to somebody else. There are 100,000 people in America that are on a transplant list. That is more people than can fit in the biggest football stadium that we have here. 60,000-ish of those people are active on the transplant list and about 40,000 are inactive. Being active on the transplant list means that you can be, you need to be ready to be called up at any moment um, to be tested to see if an organ that has become available matches you. Being inactive on the list means that you've been through the process, you've had a lot of the appointments and everything, but there's still maybe one or two things that needs to fall in place, whether it means treatment for another health issue or waiting for a test to come back. It can be you need to get your insurance lined up with giving the all the information that you need so the insurance approves your surgery. Um, it can include reasons such as you don't have um, the support system that you need available after your surgery to help you with all the follow-up care, which is a very important piece. Um, but as soon as those things get in place, you can be active on the list and then wait for your turn to get yours. And interesting is that 85% of the people on the organ donor waiting list are waiting for a kidney. That's 90,000 people. And the average wait time for a kidney is three to five years. Something that a lot of people don't quite realize is that you can be a living donor for a kidney because people only need one kidney to live. And so there has been an increase in the past few years of living donors where people have uh, families and loved ones and even strangers sometimes get tested um, to see if they are able to donate an organ to the person. Um, perhaps if maybe one of your close family members wasn't a match for you, there could be somebody else out there that is willing to donate. Something else that has um, started to be more common since I had my first transplant is called, um, it's, I'm not sure the exact name of it, but it's called like the exchange program where somebody in your life is willing to donate a kidney, whether it be to you or not. And so it goes into like the pool and somebody else has a family or loved one whose kidney also doesn't match them, but they still want to donate. And then you guys match, so you get their person's kidney and they get your person's kidney. And it has come up with some of these like kidney chains, maybe you have heard of them or seen the the, the segments about these on the news sometimes. Um, it, the chain can get to be pretty long and it's it's pretty neat um, neat thing to see. The other, do the other organ that can have a live donation is the liver. So there is a percentage of the liver that can be donated where our liver will regenerate itself and grow back what we have donated to somebody else. There are about 14,000 people that are waiting for a liver here. There's 3,000 people waiting for a heart, about 1,400 people waiting for lungs, and 900 waiting for a pancreas. And there are a couple of other organs um, that can be donated as well. I just don't have the facts for those ones. But the facts are that one person becoming an organ donor they can save up to eight lives with the organs that they're able to donate. And donating your tissue can also mean helping bring health back to 75 people that need tissue transplants or, or tissue infusion to help them with their health problems. Of the over 100,000 people on a transplant list every year, about 6,000 of them or 17 to 20 people die a day waiting for a transplant. In 2021, there were over 41,000 transplants done. That's an increase of 5.9% since 2020. And if that's not amazing, I don't know what is. And it's really easy to become an organ donor. It's just clicking a box, checking a box at your DMV. And I know that it's not an easy decision for a lot of people. It's something that needs to be thought about and perhaps researched and talking to your family about it. Something that's interesting that I found out recently is that in a lot of countries, 
the organ donation box, it is an opt out program, meaning that you are already opted in to being an organ donor. Like when you get your driver's license in America, it is an opt in program, meaning that you actually have to say, I am going to be an organ donor and get that heart stamp on the back of your license. And I mentioned talking to your family about it because your family should know um, what your thoughts are about organ donation just in case they are called to make a decision about it. Um, I don't know statistics about this or how often it happens, but I, I think that if your family knows that you wish to be an organ donor and you have voiced that to them, it may be le it may be a little bit of an easier decision for them to make in the moment if they are asked about it. But like I said, everybody that has doubts about this should research it themselves and decide if that is something that you want to do. Nobody is forcing us to be organ donors. I feel as though being an organ donor is a truly selfless gift. You don't get anything back from being an organ donor, but you give life to multiple people when you do. You restore health to multiple people when you do. It's a beautiful gift. The theme of Donate Life Month this year is be a donor, as in like a bumblebee, because bees, they're so small, but they are such like a life-sustaining element of our world and they have teamwork getting all that honey bringing it back to the you know the swarm and the queen bee and all this stuff and they they work together and they communicate and they make this beautiful this beautiful product which is honey and honey lasts forever so that's the theme this year and i want to encourage anybody watching this that isn't yet just to consider being a donor and giving that gift to life to somebody if you are given the chance to. So thank you for watching and I hope that you're having a great weekend.